Hey y'all, so today I am finally gonna try the wave formers. Um, I just washed and conditioned my hair with my Intensive Hydration Shea Moisture Collection. And yeah, let's give these a try. So I bought three packs and with each pack comes uh, 12 wave formers. And I got the longest um, wave former I could find. I think these were 60 centimeters long. Um, because my hair in a lot of spots measures about 18 to 19 inches. So hopefully these will reach from, you know, the scalp to the end without there being any hair hanging out of the bottom. Um, so I already set up one of the hooks. It was fairly easy to assemble. It just comes in three pieces and you just snap each piece into place. And each weight former is like this flexible mesh um, that's firm. So try it out so it's washed detangled sectioned into four and what I'm gonna do now is I guess maybe use like just small sections to place the curl formers in I don't want um, anything to be uneven so I'm gonna try to use at least six wave formers in each section so everything's dry dries evenly um, and what I'm going to do to set that is use the, like a combo of the Hydration Max Hold Gel and their Twist Defining Custard and use my, um, the Curly Proverbs Growth Oil that I've kind of been using here um, to seal everything in. All right, so I have my section, and my hair is still a little damp. I um, just got out of the shower, I would say maybe like 30, 45 minutes ago. So, <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little intimidated by these. All right, so I'm just going to take a section. I don't even know how to go about doing this. <laughs> um, okay. So, I'm going to separate my hair into the usual sections. If you've ever watched any of my videos, I separate my hair based on thickness. So, if all of these sections feel the same, in my head, I feel like they'll dry in similar times. So, I have three sections, and these are going to be three waveformers. I'm gonna spray it down a little bit. So I just took like a little bit of the custard, a little bit of the gel, and a little bit of the oil. You put the rod through the waveformer. And guys, I've never used this, never tried this, so you're learning right along with me. And I've seen people like twist the root, and then you just kind of lock it on it's a small little opening okay so I lock it on there and then uh, I guess just pull this uh, my hair don't pull through hold on I feel like I'm gonna rip my hair this is not This feels really traumatic. <laughs> I don't know if I like this. So maybe smaller sections. Maybe I'm trying to do too much. Okay, I'm gonna separate this one into two and try to do the front part. Maybe I've had too much hair in there. Okay, so I'm gonna twist my root. Yes. Clip it on. Okay. And then scooch it up. And then bring my hair down. It. Still really hard. Who does this? This is not. Okay. 
okay we got one and um, like I said I got the longest one and I have just like a little bit of space left at the bottom so if you have longer hair I would say it comes like like nip length I don't know um, on me definitely get a longer waveformer and twist the roots yes and I'm gonna clip it on there yes and push this to the roots and push this to the roots and then pull the stick come on dries I just have in my water bottle water in some of the um, hydration mask kind of just mixed in there and keep things moist I have the first quadrant done of the 36 um, and yeah I realized that um, it is easier to kind of set up all of the uh, crochet hooks um, as I went through so I kind of um, set all three up and then I would do three so that made things go by a lot quicker um, one con about these is I know that I won't be able to go to sleep with these in my hair um, and I like to do like a wet set go to sleep and live my life in the morning um, so this is something that I wouldn't be able to do it's definitely a daytime thing and it is also too bulky to fit into my bonnet dryer so another con so we'll see how long it takes to dry I'll be back and let you guys know um, like I said, I use 34 of the 36 um, formers, and yeah. <laughs> Sorry, bye, Felicia. <laughs> Craig. All right, y'all, so it's been about five hours. I put the curl formers in at around 11 o'clock, and now it's four o'clock, so... I'm going to check the back left to see if that one's dry or that area is dry because that was the last section that I did. So let me find one in the back. We'll try this one. And I just take it down. And it feels dry. It feels a little like it could be drier. It could be drier. I'm gonna come back in. Okay, it's been two hours later. It's now like 7:20 or something, and these are coming out. So I don't know if you can tell, like the roots still stay twisted. I just pinch the top and stretch the bottom. Okay. So right away, my initial result is that I like it. It's flat, but 
One thing that I wish I hadn't done was put the gel on it. So I read or I watched quite a few reviews and everyone said, oh, it's really soft, it's not gonna last. So I was like, oh, maybe if I put some gel, it'll make it last. And I can definitely feel like gel residue on the hair. Um, but that's not anything about the curl formers. So let me give you guys a full, you can still see the parts. They're pretty defined, like where I put each piece. Um, in the back, kind of PC. I can feel a lot of air here. Now I'm gonna pick it apart. I think this is a great way to stretch your hair, like with no heat, because it's definitely straight. Um, which I love. And now that I've kind of combed it out, I'm liking it. I don't hate it. I'm just raking each one through just once with this wide tooth pick, um, just to kind of break it up a little bit. I don't hate this. This is, this is, this is okay. I don't know if it's worth seven and a half hours of drying time. That's a little excessive, but, um, yeah, I'm digging it. These are my final results. Like I said, I don't hate it. I think this is a great way to stretch your hair without using heat. I think I'll definitely do this again. I'll probably try different products. Um, but this, this is good. This is good. Because even if I were to just flat twist my hair, the ends would be tightly coiled. Whereas with the waveformers, it's not. Um, and I, it would be a lot shorter. Like I already recently got a little scissor happy, but you know, when you when I do a twist out, it's usually like to there. So this is nice. So yeah, try them out. I ordered mine on eBay. I mean, I got each pack for like seven or eight dollars, but I'll put the link below where I purchased them. Disclaimer, it did take like a month to get here. Came in a sketchy little black bag, taped up, um, but I think I paid like $23 or $27 overall for all three packs and I like these results. So let me know if you try this style. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure you uh, subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. Um, and yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.